Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reverse Kittle. Happy Canada Day! If you're in Canada, today is July 1st and we celebrate Canada Day today. Um, as for myself, ever since we had the cults of action with the Indigenous people and the Every Child Matters movement, I personally have an orange Canada flag. Well, it's a Canada flag with orange print on it and children. <laughs> Anyways, that is a whole other topic to deal with. But happy Canada Day. Um, some people are trying to dismiss Canada Day because of the Indigenous movement and calls to action that have been happening, especially in schools, a lot lately. But um, I still want to celebrate the togetherness of peoples in Canada, and today is part of it. So all the people come together, celebrate Canada Day, Every Child Does Matter, and celebrate the Indigenous and Mixed Peoples of Canada. Anyways, <laughs> I'm here today especially to say hi to Daisy. Hi, Daisy! Um, Daisy is a subscriber of mine, and I recently subscribed to her channel. I didn't even know that she had one because she does not go around and advertise herself. So, Daisy, I'm a new subscriber of yours. I will link her channel down below. You could check her out. She just started at the end of February 2023. And she has beautiful dolls in her collection. She collects many different kinds of dolls. And they're all so super adorable. Um, she asked a question on Facebook in a Facebook group. And Daisy asked, um, Moses basket, a small cot, or playpen? She doesn't know what to choose, but she has a small limited space. Now, I myself, I recently inherited this room. I will also have a video linked to that playlist of me moving into this room. This used to be my son's room. Hence, I need to redecorate it still at one point. But um, before that, I didn't have a dolly room. And I had many baskets around. Um, I do own a couple of Moses baskets. But um, they do take up a lot of room. So what I used to buy, and I still own, is a lot of laundry baskets. Now I do have a video, a do-it-yourself video, using a simple, inexpensive $3, $4 laundry basket and turning it into a reborn bed. <laughs> oh my, I just went into a coughing fit. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I'll hopefully cut it out before I start. I don't even know what I was saying before I start coughing. Um, I made that video five years ago and I've been on YouTube for this will be my eighth year, guys. July 3rd is when I first made my video on YouTube back in 2015. And here I am <laughs> all these years later. And um, I wouldn't have done it without you guys. So thanks so much for being a part of my channel and sharing this journey with me and others in the comments down below. Um, Daisy was also asking me about this little one. <laughs> she is the Evangeline Skull by Lily Eagles and I purchased her from a friend, Kelly. Uh, Kelly also Reborns and she's on Reborns.com under Kelly's Weekend Nursery and this is an amazing, well done. Um, I know that Kelly reweighted her for sure. Um, I think she even reborn her, but I'm not quite sure if she added on or changed. But it's so well. Look at that painted hair. It looks so realistic. Zyla is definitely one of my top favorites. Well, actually, all my Laurel Eagles babies are my top favorite. I absolutely adore the sculpt. Oh, she's, she's so heavy. But you know what? She looks hot in this beautiful sleeper. 
Look, she has her ears pierced. She's beautiful. But I wonder if she used some baskets that I have. And also, um, in the chat, or in the discussion chat, there was a, um, I think it was Lisa, but I'm sorry if I got it wrong. Our friend Lisa said that people use bookshelves as well, which I do. Wait, I'll be back. I'm sorry if I have to keep pausing. Um, I keep coughing. Um, I was mentioning that I use uh, boot shoe racks. <laughs> and they are right behind me is up there. I do buy a lot of these drawer bins. A lot of times they come on sale and that's what I buy them. Same with those plastic this that's a shoe rack and i bought that thing for four dollars and i bought like three of them three or four of them i use them for camping back in the day before the reborn hobby and now i use them for the dogs and yeah you could tell i have lots of these bins but i do want to show you some of the baskets um also daisy mentioned that she found a couple of the wicker laundry baskets i was talking about i own like so many of them like nine seven eight many but i said be careful because i did buy online before and they're a lot smaller than what i thought they were um i'll just show you i'll show you stay tuned uh so here's Zyla. well i forgot to put it this way um baby my Pug reborn. My pug puppy was wearing this. <laughs> um, I actually I was I got this out for Zyla, and there's either this summer dress, which she looks good in this color, like a greenish blue with teal or this light blue, or I have this. This is also what she came with. I really enjoy this jumper. Or romper <laughs> not quite sure the name but well let's change her and I wanted to show you more of my um I made these pacifiers I do have a tutorial on how I made these uh, these are with the simple mitten clips and these are um, clips I got on Amazon but I wanted to show you that um, I made this out of uh, string and this one too out of string and beads um these are made out of jute and beads and this i also made out of jute and i made this is a yarn one a little accessory i gifted a whole bunch of ways so i can't show you anymore but i did want to say that um i was at walmart a while ago a couple of weeks ago and i picked up this purple which i really really like and this this gray grayish brown i think i am into the boho look boho accessories bohemian decor and uh this is one of the laundry i own two of these this isn't what I was telling Daisy about. I forgot I owned these kind. I bought these from Walmart, like, um, I own, like, years ago, I forget, like, but I bought these in person, so I knew the size of them. They were, like, seven, eight dollars at Walmart, so I really, really like these, and I just line, put a blanket down at the bottom, but this is a laundry basket. <clears throat> these okay wait i'll move Sila here i was going to show you a haul okay wait, I have to... so then a haul some more things i got from timu but i'll show you the baskets this one <clears throat> oh <laughs> this basket here oh 
This is the Nellie by Cassie Brace. I owned her for many, many years. Um, an artist is from Alberta, Canada, which um, I really enjoy her work. She's extremely realistic. These are the baskets that I was talking about. This is a laundry basket. I bought these in person from Walmart for only like eight dollars and I own a whole bunch of them so this is my hand and you can sort of see the size and I just have like blankets in here so yeah I love these these are perfect I love how they have like this dip right here there's no handles which is fine. I like it better without the handles. So yeah, I own a whole bunch of these. I was telling Daisy that like be careful of buying them online. They could be smaller than what you thought. For instance, here is a so-called laundry basket that I really love. It's a white wicker lined, has handles, but this is a Tink Sculpt, and she's by Bonnie Brown. This one was made by Lacey Molson, and she's in Canada. Um, I forget her new nursery name. She used to be called Lacey's Keepsake Nursery, but now she's called... No, oh, I forget. But she, it's because Lacey does alternatives now, too, and she's so wonderful at making them. But see how small this is? And this was also a laundry basket, even though it's a lot smaller than this one. Okay, wait. I can't even see. So yeah, it's a lot smaller. I don't know if you can tell. This is my Moses basket. Oop. With some more of my babies. More of my treasures that I love so much. But this here is a Moses basket on a cradle. Like a rocking cradle part and there's also a hood like that can be like that <laughs> but it's useful my collection is quite big so yeah here's another angle of those and yeah my messy room <laughs> And like I said, I love these kind of baskets too. And they're not as big as the Moses baskets. These are laundry baskets. I also bought, um, on this shirt, I have, this is another type of basket that I have. It's a rectangle kind. I'm black. And there's two of my partial silicones in there. And I wrap them up nice. So that they are protected. Okay, before I go, um, my phone is heating up. It's really hot. I need to put the air conditioner on. Put these baskets back. I have so many of those baskets in the living room, but no one knows because I hide them behind like the chairs, the couches, the end tables. There's one on top, one below. Yeah, my collection is huge. Okay, along with these beautiful yarns, I'm totally gonna make more pacifiers out of and more of these rattles out of. Um, I wanna show you, these were on sale. <sighs> It's a box of three pack, and I know I own I own these already. I own like 
a few of them. They're the old fashioned ones. These are the new, these are the new kind. But I thought for some giveaways, I would love to, once I gather some money, I plan on gifting these away along with some of my homemade items. So please stay tuned. It won't be in this video. And it won't be announced. It'll be a secret giveaway. And I would love to do that in the small, short future. Sometime this summer. But I have a three-pack of these. I have... And these kind. These are nursery drop-ins. And these come with the, like, there's a nipple that comes and some bags with it. So that's cool. And then I add whatever accessories I make. So I'm planning on doing that. So I have six to give away here. And I have another box of these. So I have nine, but I actually want to keep one of this and one of this, so seven giveaways, so I can't wait, I'm so excited, and oh my goodness, I am sweating so bad, okay, this is going to have to be very fast, I'm sorry for the poor video if it's all over the place, well, you know what, normally I am all over the place, <laughs> It's okay. These things, maybe I'll put Zyla in one of these. I bought a twin set of these. These are from Timu. Same with this. And same with these. I have no idea how big these are. These are muslin. I think they're more cloth. I'm not sure the size. Let's find out. Oh, so they are like a washcloth size but they're so pretty see how these look good with like so good with these kind of baskets I love these baskets laundry baskets but like these boho accessories decor bohemian style it's exactly what I'm looking for Yay! And they will go with my new accessories extremely well. Even my string ones. And I can't wait to make some with these, this color. And, um... My last video, I showed you I purchased these. I plan on using these, like, to glue on to these clips. They look so perfect with the theme I'm trying to achieve. And I bought these colored of beads. Perfect. Now that I'm off for the summer, I have the time. Yay, I'm so happy in summer break for me. I had a really hectic year, I'll tell you that. I walked in September, the first day of school, the very first day of school, my boss says to me, you're teaching at a different grade. And I'm like, okay. And I did. I did without complaint. I did a whole new year plan, all new lesson plans, all new class list, all new everything. And then, because I'm only on term, I was covering for somebody, and then I had to cover for somebody else midway through the year. And I was planning for two different classes at that time. Oh, so hectic. I'm so glad to be off. But I really enjoyed my year. I was teaching grade 7. So let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. How long have I 
been rambling on and you weren't even. Let's see what these look like. Let's see if Janine can wear Zyla Janine. So I bought two of these. Okay, now this one will be the same, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look, it comes oh, one of these kind of hats. <laughs> the kind that you tie. And then that. Yeah, let's put Zyla in this. And then this is like, oh, it's so soft. This is, oh. Wow. Oh, it's a blank. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. So stretchy. And so soft. Wow. So it's a wrap. Let's see. Where is my Zyla? Zyla. Take this bow off and pick out this extremely hot looking sleeper. Oh my goodness. Just sweating, just looking at her. Look at her sculpt. Like, look a bit. Look how it's shaped. Wow, eh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The Canadian is coming out. <laughs> oh, she has little cute little muscles. I love the sculpt so much. Well, Lordly Eagles, I own many of her sculpts. I have a video of my Lordly Eagles collection. Okay, let's see. She does have a belly plate as well. Wow, I love how stretchy this is. Wow, it's so stretchy. I'm not used to that. I'm used to just like... And then... Do I like just tie this in a knot? I don't know. I'm going to have to learn how to see. Sorry, you guys are all over. Like, do you not tie this? I've seen it in the pictures. It was tied. I thought it was like a sleeping bag type thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So there's no tags. Oh my goodness. <gasps> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. So is this how you wrap her? Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's just so cute. Coming through, coming through, okay, I told me to do this. She not have to be tighter or something. I'm floating through outer space. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's, she's just too cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn how to properly. Oh my goodness, I love holding her. <laughs> Okay, I am sweating. I'm sweating, sweating. I am just sweating like crazy. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Oh. It is good. Sorry if I'm too close. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And now that I'm on summer break, I'm totally going to be here more often. So until next time guys, remember check out Daisy's channel if you're interested in seeing many more types of dolls. She has many cute dolls. And please say hi to her, support her too. So news guys, until next time, very very soon.
I promise this time. I know last time I didn't. Oh, I'm so sweating. Oh, you guys take care. Love you. Bye.